Hey guys, uh, I uh, made a, a special uh, metering flow head, whatever you want to call it, a manifold for a uh, liquid cooled uh, sculptural system for a member of overclock.net. And uh, this is based on one that I made for myself. And uh, what we have here is some uh, wire reinforced tubing. So you could step on it and hardly even crush it. And uh, these are some quick disconnects. And uh, these two parts will go to the cooler. So this entire assembly could be removed from the cooler easily enough for whatever purpose. And uh, then what I wanted to show you was the actual metering head, which I have put in this uh, wood enclosure here and I uh, wanted to just show you a little bit about this. Uh, I sheathed the uh, lines just for aesthetics. Uh, there's really no reason to sheathe the lines. But uh, what the heck, why not? And I put some heat shrink over the, uh, the ends here. Uh, these are basically a series of T's and half inch ball valves with half inch uh, to half inch barb fittings on them and half inch nipples, half inch plugs. What you're looking at here is about eight pounds of brass. Uh, this assembly, just the brass parts, is about $185 in parts. And then once you add the sheathing and the tubing and that, it's a, about 200 And then uh, I've spent about uh, three hours on the project so far and this is the uh, this is the enclosure for it that helps stabilize it and uh, just makes it look a little nicer and gives it a nice flat surface to sit on uh, you don't have to worry about that and this is made of purple heart and I dated this out on the table saw and then what happens here is uh, this will go in here this also kind of helps protect everything keeps everything kind of nice you can still get at the drain plugs and then these little pieces here will basically once I get them uh, glued in place I'm going to glue them in right about after I shut off this camera these will uh, keep the parts trapped so this will trap it into the base and uh, and what we have here is we have for three loops, he's got a CPU loop, he's got the coolers on the uh, chipset, and he's got his graphics cards. So you'll have three independent in, out loops. So he'll have cold coming from his cooler to his block, and then back to the red set. That'll go back to the cooler to be recooled. And the way these valves work, that ball valves are very simple. They're just on or off. And what's nice about a ball valve is that, it, is that you can set it anywhere in between. So if you want to have a little more flow through your CPU and a little bit less through your chipset or whatever you want to play around with and see if you get better temperatures, I found that when I adjusted mine, I could get some pretty good temperatures uh, by restricting some flow and letting some flow go full on and so on. And then for service, uh, what's nice is that you can shut each loop off independently. You can just totally shut off the whole thing. So if you wanted to unplug a tube to pull a graphics card or motherboard or whatever, make it easier for your plumbing or drain the loop or whatever you want to do, you can easily turn the loops on and off. So, and it's a beast, I admit. It's uh, definitely overkill. It's what I built for myself, uh, and I guess uh, Mansueto from Overclock.net liked it, and uh, so here I am, I've built another one. And uh, as soon as I get this glued up and everything, I'll move on to making an enclosure for his cool. Uh, put some vids of that up too. But that's basically what you got.